Okay, let's start with shoot apex organization now. So this is shoot apex. What is shoot apex organization? How the uh, tissues are uh, organized at shoot apex, at the apex of shoot. Okay, let's start with it. So this is shoot apex. Here, this is the shoot apical meristem. So this part, this part is shoot apical meristem. Shoot apical meristem. So when the cells of this shoot apical meristem undergo cell division, what happens? It is forming, at first it is forming cells. It cuts off cells towards flanks, that is towards lateral side. So the cells which are flanking this uh, epical meristem are developing into leaf primordia. So leaf primordia are nothing but primitive leaves. Leaf primordia develops into leaves. Okay. So I just repeat the, epic, the cells present in epical meristem cut off cells towards lateral side that is uh, flanking with the cells which are flanking from this epical meristem, shoot epical meristem form leaf primordia which develop into leaves leaf primordia and some of the cells which are flanking leaf primordia which develop into leaves okay and some of the cells which are flanking towards lateral side are left behind during the growth of this shoot during the growth of this shoot some of the cells which are flanking at this shoot apical meristem are left behind which develop into axillary bud which become axillary bud which do not develop which become axillary bud okay i just repeat so this shoot this is the shoot apical meristem it cuts off cells towards lateral side so these cells which are formed towards lateral side are flanking this shoot apical meristem and they develop into leaf primordium and some of the cells which are flanking are left behind during the growth of shoot apical meristem which become axillary bud. This axillary bud later on it develops into a new branch or flower. New branch or flower. Okay, so here, so here what is happening this apical meristem is showing broadening, broadening at some region and narrowing at some region. So here it is broadened and here it is narrowed and again it is showing broadening. So at some regions it is showing broadening and at some regions it is showing narrowing. So the active vegetative meristematic cells show broadening and narrowing. At some regions broadening and at some regions narrowing. So what is happening? So at some regions it is showing broadening and at some regions it is showing narrowing. So the region, regions which are at which it is showing broadening develop into nodes and the regions at which it is showing narrowing develop into so narrow regions narrow regions develop into internodes develop into internode okay so this epical meristem shoot epical meristem along with the production of cells towards lateral sides it also cuts off cells towards lower side we already discussed about it so lower side that is towards basal side the cells which are cut off from the shoot epical meristematic cell towards lower side or basal side develop into primary permanent tissues and the cells which are cut off towards basal side develop into what they develop into primary permanent tissues what are those primary permanent tissues like epidermis cortex pericycle primary xylem primary phloem and even pith all these are primary permanent tissues primary permanent tissues right okay and this is differentiating vas vascular tissues like this vascular tissues gets differentiated Vascular tissues like xylem and phloem are getting differentiated from this shoot apical meristem. So this is about shoot apex organization. And to explain the shoot apex organization, different scientists gave different three different theories. Now let's start with those theories which explain the shoot apex organization. So let's study the theories that explain the shoot apex organization. theories to explain shoot apex organization. 
So, three different scientists, three different theories are given by different scientists to explain this shoot effects organization. Now, let's study all these three theories. Okay, first theory is epical cell theory. First theory is epical cell theory, then histogen theory, histogen theory, and then tunica corpus theory. Tunica corpus theory. Corpus theory, right. So this epical cell theory is given by the scientists, two scientists, half Misha and Nagi. Okay, histogen theory is given by a scientist, Hans Steel. Whereas tunica carpus theory is given by a scientist, Kim Smith. Okay, right, epical cell theory. So, according to this epical cell theory, shoot apex consists of only one cell at the apex cell. So, shoot apex consists of only one meristematic cell at the apex and that one cell is responsible for the formation of all different types of cells present in the shoot. And this uh, theory is applicable to only lower plants like algae, bryophytes and pteridophytes. It is applicable to only lower plants like algae, bryophytes and pteridophytes. Now, two other theories explain the shoot apex organization of angiosperms. Pteridophytes. Okay. Now, coming to histogen theory. So, according to this histogen theory, shoot apex consists of three types of layers. Three types of histogen layers, meristematic layers. So, first uh, meristematic layer is dermatogen. Outermost is dermatogen. Then at the center, it consists of a layer called periplen and innermost is plerome. plerome. So, this is outermost layer, this is present at the center, middle layer and this is innermost layer in a most layer okay actually in case of angiosperms three different types of uh, tissue systems are present those tissue systems are epidermal tissue system i am writing here epidermal tissue system ground tissue system and vascular tissue system so epidermal tissue system forms ground tissue ground tissue system and vascular tissue system so, epidermal tissue system forms outermost covering of the plant body of all organs that is epidermis. Ground tissue system includes cortex, pericycle, pith. Whereas, vascular tissue systems include xylem and phloem, vascular tissues. Okay. So, this epidermal tissue system is formed by the outermost layer of outermost layer that is dermatogen according to histogen theory. So, it is forming epidermal tissue system. That is epidermis. Epidermis. Next coming to middle layer. That is periplen. Periplen is forming, is forming cortex. It is forming cortex. And whereas plerome is forming steel. Steel is nothing but steel includes what? Pericycle. Pericycle. Vascular tissues. That is xylem and phloem. And with. So these are formed by plerome. So these three together are called as steel. So plerome is involved in the formation of steel. Right? So this is about histogen theory. Next coming to tunica carpus theory. So according to this tunica carpus theory, shoot apex. So let's say this is the shoot apex. Let's say this is shoot apex, right? So this is uh, shoot apex. This is the outermost layer of shoot apex. It consists of two layers. So according to this uh, tunica carpus theory, it consists of shoot apex consists of two layers. Two layers. Those two layers are tunica and carpus. 
tunica and carpus. So this outermost layer of the shoot apex is tunica and carpus rest all layers present in the shoot apex and the shoot apex are forming carpus. So this is the outermost layer, single layer, generally single layer but it can be multi-layered also. So outermost layer is tunica and rest all layers of the shoot apex represents carpus. Okay, the cells of this tunica are small sized, so they are smaller in size, whereas the cells of carpus are larger in size. These are larger in size. Okay, so the cells present in this uh, tunica, that is outermost layer, let's say this is the cell in transverse section, it shows uh, anticlinal division. So what is anticlinal division? This is anticlinal division. If the cell division occurs perpendicular to the axis like this, perpendicular to the axis of the cell. So this is the axis of the cell, but cell division is taking place like this. So if the cell division occurs perpendicular to the axis of the cell, that is called as anticlinal division. So the cells of this tunica are showing anticlinal division, anticlinal division, whereas, whereas the cells of this carpus, so again this is the cell in transverse section. Carpus are showing both anticlinal division and periclinal division. Anticlinal means the division which is taking place uh, towards the perpendicular to the axis of the cell. And the division which is taking place to the towards the parallel to the axis of the cell, which is taking place parallel to the axis of the cell is called as periclinal division. So this is periclinal, this is periclinal division and this is anticlinal division. So here both anticlinal division and periclinal division is taking place in case of the cells present in corpus. Corpus. Both anticlinal and periclinal divisions occur. But the most so in the cells of carpus, both anticlinal and periclinal divisions occurs, but the most uh, common type of divisions are anticlinal divisions. Okay, here uh, tunica is uh, involved in the formation of epidermal tissue system and uh, remaining all tissue systems like uh, ground tissue system and vascular tissue system are formed by carpus. This tunica is generally single layered, but sometimes it can be multi-layered also. In case of multi-layered tunica, the outermost layer is involved in the formation of epidermis and rest all layers are involved in the formation of ground tissue system and vascular tissue system along with carpus. So this is all about different theories.